Hello everyone and welcome to another Magic Arena video. Today I'm very excited to present to you my budget flying Boros Legion deck. Now this deck is a goofy one. It's a little bit uh, on the low end when it comes to competitiveness just because as you can understand it's the budget version and the competitive is good on its own but definitely not the highest end as you will see but it will for sure give you a lot of victories and it's very very fun to play with now as you understand the concept is boros red white and what is this combination we have a lot of uh, removal with our socks and our lightning strikes and our justice strikes and because this is the buzzed version it has zero rares and zero legendaries you need to craft to make it because rekindling phoenix you get from the uh, original decks also the primal dawn the Tlapa, you get that as well the only things you will need to craft is what you don't have from boros like the challenger the sun home stallard just a strike but all those are uncommon which makes your life a lot easier now as for the lands I happen to have opened a lot of packs from Dominaria, what, from Ravnica, sorry, and I get, uh, got two Sacred Foundries, but you can change those with just the normal Guild Gates. And of course, Clifftop Retreat is a free card you get from the decks. So as you can see, we run three Healer Hawks because they're very quick one drops to play, or you can just you have take a heart for the combat tricks and Sock for the early game removal you get your hawk down you get your steward your challenger your sky terror and you just buff them up then you have more premium removal and then we have a weird one which is pegasus now the reason i put pegasus corsair in is because it works very well with both board challenger and some home staller so we have so many flying creatures they cannot really hope to try to stop them all and now Heroic Reinforcement well, works perfect with this because when you have like two Hawks down, one of each here, a Pegasus, you just pop this, everything has, most of your things have flying, they get one plus one, it's just perfect all around. Now we do have a few interesting things, uh, we have also the Parhelion Patrol or how it's called, I don't know. It is a 2-3 which you can say it's not good for a 4 drop but this is the budget version and it is another good body with it has flying and vigilance and mentor At the same time we do have settled the records but do remember this is free again from the decks now Sala is also as I said this four times by now free and it's great versus a lot of burn Dimir control all around a great card to stop them from destroying your army especially with four mana and now the MVP as you can see also here is the Sky Knight Legionnaire. Now this card definitely wins you a lot of the games just by him being dropped as a 3 and then just going ham, just like immediately hitting for 2 and just keep doing that again and again and again. Now all these cards together have a great synergy and definitely each and every one of them will help you towards winning. There is no one card that is the one condition that wins you like many of the decks everything works together to win you the game now another thing is that you we do have make a stand because it also helps with a lot of combat tricks and also stops them from multiple uh, clears such as deafening clarion or whatever and also boros locket does great work for getting us extra cards now enough of me talking about this deck i'm very excited to show you the budget version and the non budget version which is crazy it's so beautiful um, if you want to see I have a little bit of a sideboard that runs a lot of control at least just for the lot it runs a lot of control and really helps versus those games so did I remove something Oops. well anyways uh, we will go towards uh, the game Alright, we're entering some competitive play. In case you were wondering, I accidentally removed a lightning strike, nothing major. 
end remember this deck runs 22 lands it is a bit on the low end but it's definitely more than enough now we're playing versus the fairy we have an interesting opening hand i mean it, it's on the low end but it can work fine it can work fine we'll try to keep this we'll see how it goes Probably versus the fairy we'll need to have extensive uh, changes being made on our sideboard just because we all know how oppressive and annoying it can be. But um, fairly certain we will do great with this deck. Like, even if we lose the first game, we definitely will take the other two home. But uh, if I can sell you some 2 O's, I will. Definitely. Now, he dropped to 6 cards. That's great for us. It happens. Or 5 cards. Wow, he's dropping. Okay, game one to us. Cool, cool. He actually will play with five card start. Jesus, this guy is insane. I love it. Okay, told you. So OP, they surrender. <laughs> I mean, I did sell him red white, but I guess he might go for something there. I do have this thing. Okay. This is how you win with this deck. It's so good, they instantly surrender for some reason. Boom. We even get an actual good card. Okay. <laughs> Let's get back to another game. Maybe, just maybe, in the best of ones, we will get some actually decent games in which. I'm not moon gun to 4 just because I got 0 lands in my hand for some reason. Or playing versus the boring player. That's a nice bug. Okay, we have a 3 drop, 2 drop. Man. As much as I hate it, we'll take it. Like, I've been having so many bad mulligans these past few games. I, I don't know, I'm starting to lose my mind. Okay, Golgari. Again. Okay. That's nice. Oh boy. Oh boy. This has been some very, very unfortunate games up until now. I'm just like, this deck is so much fun and it does not get it. Not get it, the mulligans. So, well, this will will pay the buy for sure. Get the balls loaded down. I think we're fine. He does have the mana sorted. It's good. We have five mana. Harpooner can come pretty useless. We get... Yeah, we definitely go for it even if we need to. Right, 5 mana next turn. We have our card draws with the Boros Locket. We seem to be in a decent position, but a lot can change very fast as Bulgari. Especially when I see Walk the Plank. Four monsters inside. Really? I mean, he might have an assassin's drop. To be fair, it's very cold. But I think I'm okay getting assassin's trophy. Should be okay. Great, we actually got our own kitten. We didn't think I've got it for so long. I'm starting to literally lose my ability to talk. I'm starting to get it. A little bit crazy, my mind's fading a little bit, I'll be honest. But, oh, finally getting some decent draws at least, I mean, the Pegasus Corsair is not really Boros Legion, it doesn't really work where we don't have our non-flying Boros Challenger and Sun Walker. Oh, we take it all day, I'm not giving you any more power in your grave. There we go! There we go, that's some beautiful stuff right there. That's some beautiful stuff. Yes, let me see that 8 damage in the face. Let's go! Ooh, 
let's go. This the Legion. This is this is it. Let's go finally. Getting the flyers. Getting the damage. God damn! Finally, good enjoyable game that I draw. Thank you. That was finally a good game. Thank you. Right. Let's get on to the second game of best of ones. All right. We had a great, great previous game. So you how fast we can end with it, but we can do better. We can, we, we can, we can work it out a little bit. We can do better. I truly believe we can. Um, I will stall. I will just go for ball or skill gate. Of course, if you have all the golden uh, sacred falcons, definitely, we definitely recommend you just putting four of them inside and being okay with that. Again, very versus mono red aggro, but this time seemingly, seemingly different. Kind of feeling we'll play this stuff because what I don't know. Aggro. It seems maybe he goes for the black red destruct by uh, creature destruction or maybe the card discard hand thing. I don't know. We'll see. Of course the Lapa doesn't help at all because he's a high end. So we are still in the very much beginning. I mean I couldn't afford losing two health now versus a aggro like this. That is very annoying. Since I think I is a great to get today Sky Knight, I really don't want to lose any more health. So I'll wait for one more turn. I'll wait one more turn to just try and suck up and destroy his board state, basically. Lightning strike goes off, but it's good because he will not be able to kill Sky Knight immediately. Maybe I should have killed immediately. What's this? I'm sick and tired of freaking mono red or just red aggro players just getting five risk factors and just being very annoying. Yes, five risk factors. Yes, that's how. I don't know. It's one to be. All right, two sky knights. That's good. Let's go. Getting the damage finally. Oh, quite a little bit slower due to. But basically, me not want to spend. It's been a Let me guess. A shot. A wizard lightning. If he did on face, he would probably see the win. Playing this stops him from literally attacking with, with a pyromancer, except he has another wizard lightning, which he probably does have. Or he will play Gibi Lava Runner. Of course, lightning cannot play it. Oh my goodness! Jesus, bro! What? Yes! My god! Getting tired. As much as I would just take card to get some HP, I won't. I want to kill both his creatures. Which way? Or actually, we can just like kill one and keep the other alive. Nah, we keep this alive. Like, he made the mistake that you see, I would be in one HP now if he just hit him two times the face. Uh, let's trade. Stop deck battle. But I'm losing. I mean, if we top that 3 mana, which is called mana flooding, we do get the flop and probably win. Oh, we can get this and have it in the flop, so 
heal up a little bit. Actually, <laughs> heal us both is the saving angel we need. The saving grace. Ooh, settle the wreck really helps here. Alright, we have a cheeky little hand here. Quite a cheeky little hand. We might win this actually. We have two mana away from the top. Huh? We got the settle the records and the make a stand so if this doesn't die keeps healing us. We'll probably use I have learned one thing. Blade Crafter destroys anything that has indestructible. Because it says sacrifice. I mean that we lose our hero hopes that we worked so hard to get. Okay. Oh that's okay. He has this weird one card in his hand with bothered me though. This is this is good. Like get our mana down, get those boots. I like this. Alright, finally, Jesus. It's mono red madness. Oh my god. Okay, this creature. Or he might discard the card that are weird. I have not seen anybody playing this missing pyromancer. Definitely an underwhelming card. Completely honest with you, right? It's a little bit more underwhelming card. Let's see if we can bait him. We do. Maybe he will sacrifice him. If he won't. We still have mana for set of the record. We have one mana away from Primal Dawn with 100% ends the game as fast as possible. He gets out three creatures. Gitu Lava Runner, Gitu Lava Runner, and Gitu Pyromancer. Lava Runner. Oh, wait. Oh, Journey Mate. I remember the, the card names. Okay, so he will get this and two of those and probably just tear me up. But we have some of the records, which will stop that, which is great. So, as I understand, his idea of the deck was uh, aggro. Red. Oh, nearly enough. We'll get to in the face. He has that with Lava Runner. Let's see if we can bait him. Can we bait him? Let's just see. Settle the records, bait. Okay. Expected. Expected. card he's thinking about it it's a land he's been baiting me all this time god damn it oh boy this is so difficult here's the decision This is the final turn, boys. Do we win? Do we lose? This is it. Do we finally win with the basically mono red aggro deck? Do we? Do we die? Is that the mana yet? Yes! We win! Thank you, Jesus. This game is the whole good. Alright, this is the third and last best of one game I will be playing. Okay. Because I neither have the time nor the voice anymore. But I really want to keep it. I want like I want to show you the synergy of like playing the one to the two to the three and the four. But we became unlucky. But this time this time I'm going all in. Win or lose, I don't care. I want to show you how we can do this mental thing. Again, again versus the mono. God, I'm not gonna even attack. I'm not gonna even play the Sun Kong Stewart. I want him to leave. I'll just wait next turn, have three mana so I can have take a heart ready. Because I know he will. Oh my god, Steam King is down. Oh, the terror of the king. No. Alright. 
play the mana, we play this boy. We attack quickly so we can get a little bit more health back. We never want to be lower. And hopefully, playing for the sixth time in a row versus mono red. Obviously, it's not in a row because I took a break, but whatever. No reason. Playing versus mono white, not cast spells, but mono white Russ. And this is actually should I pick Legion Warboss in this deck? But that won't be Flying Legion then, right? Yeah. It's not Flying Legion. It's not what I like. It's the Flying Legion. God damn it! And this will be remain so. It'll be no one's. He wants to block my. Uh, I don't want to take a risk. I just don't want to risk it. If he kills my steward, it's okay. We double the patrol down. I would prefer not losing to the steward. Probably get the first strike uh, plus five if I have plus three. I guess if we lose the game, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Uh, this okay. Take it face. face. And we do get damaged by six now. That's a lot. Maybe even nine if he plays a shock. He might. Oh, told you that shock is coming. But not with my face. So we go to 9 health. Plays that thing again. Can we allow him to draw cards? Does this suit us? I do not believe he can kill me. I don't believe he can kill me this turn. And if he can kill me this turn, next turn we get a lot of health back completely. We will get hit by. He, won't, he can attack only with 3 and... Okay, let me think about this. I don't know if he will attack with his Steam King. I think that he won't do that. Maybe we'll get some of the records. Draw. Something crazy like that. God damn it, we're playing so much, so much versus like mono red. It's just it's so annoying. Get one damage in and hopefully we will play take a heart and get sell the record stop deck. Maybe. But his only choice right now is to take the three out of here, which makes no sense because he won't kill my um 
either nice. Wait, what? Which one is it? No, I misplayed that so bad. Oh my god, I misplayed that so bad. Why am I so bad? No, what am I doing? I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Ah, what am I doing? I just lost the game. Wow, what did my brain just explode or something? Jesus. Oh my god, I... I believe my brain imploded itself and I literally decided that I did not want to uh, remain alive and it's a bad idea. Found it. Um what's the problem? Did Lava Runner has three three My brain gives up. Like my brain literally decides to just give up midway and to lose like the wing. I just lose the wing just because my brain decides to shut down. Why? So the record! steps incorrectly last time and I just lost the game for no reason. We have been so much more in health and I could have not lost the other thing, killed his golden brain literally golden himself. some sort of winning maybe 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 it's like yeah here is the card that um, you didn't use correct and probably was yeah. I mean if I can get the chance to somehow deal with extra damage and win for example reinforcements I'm happy because I think in the game so Again. Please. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Thank you! This time. This time correctly, boys. This time correctly. This time we do it. This time we do it for the fans. This time we do it for everybody that's watching this video. This is for you. This is me. Granted the second chance to not be so stupid. God damn. Me and my stupidity. But we made it through because this deck is actually. It's actually low. God damn. Whew. So, as you saw, that deck has on its own a lot of potential of winning you the game with a lot of countermeasures with a lot of combat tricks a lot of ways that he can I, we can fill the board with it and it has some top some high end all around i don't know if i exactly showed you its whole potential but i definitely showed you all the ways that you can i don't know literally win even though you made the biggest mistake and you're playing versus mono red continuously but still win. I'm so happy about the game. 
So this deck, a lot of fun. One of my favorite things that I have made for a while, the non-budget version that I will be making a video of soon is, believe me, a hundred times more fun than this one. And I know you're gonna be having a lot of fun with it. So I'll try to put that out soon, as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or enjoyed me actually getting the win at the end there, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content, more decks and more things to come. And I hope to see you all soon.